welcome to my channel. I'm doing a quick clean of my house while I'm here by myself and I would love it if you would clean along with me and we can get it done together. I'm starting off in my hallway and man it's so dusty out here. All of the dust from our kitchen remodel has blown into the hallway and it's really mounted up so I'm giving it a bit of TLC. upstairs to our bedroom. I'm not going to be changing any of the bed sheets today. I'm just going to be straightening the bed up a bit and generally cleaning round. I'm not really going to be deep cleaning in here today, but I definitely know that I need to do that to my wardrobe and dressing room, which you will see shortly. Has anybody else started spring cleaning yet? I'd love to know what areas you tackle first. I try to start with the room or area that I least want to do and then I move on to the nice ones that I don't mind doing. I really like to get the worst things done first, get them out the way and then we can move on to the nice stuff. So let me know in the comments what you are planning to do or whether you've already started your spring cleaning and we can have a nice little chit chat. The living room, just like the hallway, is dusty AF. It's really travelled in here as well. So once we're done with the renovation work, I'm going to get this rug and the couches professionally cleaned and I can't wait to do that. I'm vacuuming the rug and putting it over to the side while I vacuum and disinfect the rest of the floor. To the moon and back, playing loud in the speakers You and me out the couch so that I can really get back here and vacuum thoroughly. I do this every single week so that I can mop the entire floor. I'm also cleaning this big mirror which is full of my toddler's little fingerprints.
Moving over here to the top end of the living room, I'm cleaning this cabinet and then vacuuming and mopping. I'm going to go ahead and clean around my TV and fireplace too before I start mopping the floors. Listen to the midnight radio I use a disinfectant gel and really nice hot water to clean the floors. I like to work my way from the top of the living room and mop towards the door at the bottom of the living room. So basically I'm mopping myself out of the room. That way I know that every area has been done and I'm not having to walk back over it. Sometimes I can't believe that you are mine. While the floor in the living room is drying, I'm heading back upstairs to my dressing room and I'm really bouncing around the whole house today. I clear my makeup desk of all the things first and there's a lot of stuff just scattered around on here. I'm so messy. And then I put everything away so that I can clean the top and the mirror. I just use glass cleaner because my makeup desk has a glass top on it so it works fine. And we never thought anyone could you me how you're my drug when I am feeling blue yeah it's all you this glass cleaner in my little hot hands then I'm going to clean the big wall mirror here as well. And now for some vacuum lines, enjoy! I'm thinking back on all those times When I feel close to from All that I could become Eager but too scared to climb Wanted to please my friends But it felt like the end of myself I'm bringing 
my chair back and then plugging my hair dryer in and straightening up my wardrobe and then I'm done in here. The floor down here in the living room is dry now so I'm rolling out the rug and quickly vacuuming just one last time. I'm straightening up my toddler's bedroom, making his bed, dusting the windowsill and bookshelf and cleaning the carpet. I'm finishing off in here by cleaning the bed frame because it randomly gets like really really dusty and it's so easy to forget about. Into my office I'm taking all of the things off the shelves and dusting each and every one. <laughs> Now I'm cleaning my desk and just like my makeup desk I like to just remove everything off of the top and really get in there and clean it properly. Now let's vacuum the carpet. I have to move the vases and my chair and everything that gets in the way out of the way so that I can clean the whole room and make sure that the whole floor is vacuumed. I wanted to
I've got a separate video coming in the next couple of days where I deep clean my main bathroom. So today I'm only going to be cleaning the ensuite and I will save the main bathroom for you for that other video. So I've started off cleaning the toilet because I like to leave the bleach in the toilet bowl while I'm cleaning the rest of the bathroom to give it time to really work and to make my toilet sparkly and delightful. I'm now moving over to the shower and I always spend time cleaning each glass panel thoroughly otherwise I just notice that there's this grim soapy buildup that just appears at the bottom of the glass and that can be pretty tough to remove so I always aim to get ahead of that which ultimately saves me time and energy so what is not to love? <laughs> Double sink is so gross right now, as is the mirror. Please don't look too closely. I'm going to go ahead and clean both. For the double sink, I'm using a standard bathroom cleaner that contains bleach in it, and it'll get the sink just nice and clean and a lot more hygienic. <music> I find that dirt and hair, especially my hair, because I molt way worse than my cats, but it kind of collects around the edges of this room and shows up so much against these white tiles. So I'm just going around and cleaning the edges of the room to get rid of that. It 
If you would like more cleaning motivation today, then I will have a whole playlist for you to choose from and that will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for weekly cleaning motivation. I post twice every single week and I would absolutely love to have you join me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.